So I'm going to take a new picture so that you know it's real. So it's live in real time yeah. of Blair. Of course. The wonderful Blair. Uh, but that was a look in the face that, like, it was 8 o'clock in the morning, not, like, well past 5. <laughs> and then you just flick it to one end. There it goes. Oh, boom. <laughs> There's Blair on the other one. So you okay. can see how quick it is with the high-speed link between the two. High-speed link of? A Bluetooth. 3.0 plus high-speed. So it's a Bluetooth peer-to-peer -peer link. Now, this is just a proof of concept app. It, exactly. It's just we wanted to show what sort of UI we expect people to start doing. And I think we're going to start seeing a lot of creative and innovative applications like this. Now, what platform is that one? I mean, just to This one's a HTC Touch 2, which runs on the Windows Mobile platform. So they have an open API. Anyone can create applications like this and utilize the Bluetooth radio to do peer-to-peer -peer applications. Well, why not? just release that out in the, 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 the public now. Perhaps. Uh, we, we have Because you're not that. app developers. You're not trying to get <laughs> it, in that game. It is a little outside the realm of what the Bluetooth SIG has traditionally done. But uh, who knows? You have a good idea. Maybe we'll take your advice. Well, I, it's actually a really good. In fact, the way I, I, I described it before the video, I said, so it's kind of like a bump for photos. Yeah, it is. Although and you're using Bluetooth versus the, uh, I guess, a, a bigger wireless network like Bump does. So. It, exactly. We're using the Bluetooth peer-to-peer -peer link, and you can see how quick it, it is. So, Blair, I got a question for you. Yes. When, when I'm looking at devices that have that are Bluetooth enabled, what should I be looking for? Like all these numbers and words. I mean, they don't mean anything to me. You want the uh, you want to look at the profiles that they're going to enable, and actually, the Bluetooth Six has a really great uh, program on their uh, webpage, Bluetooth6.com, and Bluetooth.com, and it's the device matcher device guide, and you can go and look up any device that's Bluetooth enabled, well, mostly any device that's Bluetooth enabled, and see what it's going to pair with, and that's the best thing you can do when you're looking at Bluetooth devices, so you know what works with what. And you invited me to this little soiree tonight. Why? Well, so you could come and stick this camera in my face and make me horribly uncomfortable, of course. Well, come on, you're in PR. You should be used to it. Because, Chris, you're a great guy. Why would we not invite you? <laughs> right. You have, I think, the largest reach on the Internet. So, of course, I'm working on out, it. <laughs> but, of course, when we're doing outreach, we want you involved. Oh, and you're in Seattle, too. Yes. Yes. Right here in our backyard. So what's coming up for uh, Bluetooth? I mean, beyond the SIG, I mean, what, what's, I mean, constant advances, can you tell me? Or is that, like, NDA stuff? I can tell you, but Michael... <laughs> Much better than I of course, what we're really excited about now is we just announced our version 4.0 specification, and that is going to enable very small sensor type devices. So we think it's going to open up the health and fitness market, the medical market, the watch on your wrist, that all of a sudden these devices that haven't been able to exchange information before are going to now. And we think you're going to see an explosion of Bluetooth applications built on that specification. Now, the, the spec then has been ratified. It's, it's going through. When can we expect to see uh, some Bluetooth 4.0 devices out there? Yeah, the spec just got finished. And I think by the end of this year, 2010, you'll see some initial products. But really, 2011, I think, is going to be the breakthrough year for these new products. So, you know, as we're advancing, what's happening with power consumption on these Bluetooth devices? Is it getting worse? Is it getting better? But we're always looking to drive the power consumption down. The real sweet spot for Bluetooth application is handheld mobile devices that run off batteries. So you have to drive the power consumption down. So every iteration, we improve that. And our low energy spec opens up an entirely new class of application that's going to run for one year, two years on button cell batteries that you just haven't been able to do before. So then, Blair, what is the Bluetooth SIG's function? What does it do? Well, we guide and promote the technology. So we focus on promoting the technology to the general consumer to make sure that they know what it's, what it's capable of doing. And then we also guide the specifications. So Mike's constantly pushing new uh, developments through the roadmap, with, which we did with high speed and what we're doing with low energy right now. Very cool. Well, thanks for the invitation to the event. Uh -huh. I think I'm going for some cheese. Excellent. Is it Bluetooth enabled? Is it blue cheese? Yes.